Bill O'Reilly here, Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening across our nation. Violent crime spikes in major American cities. Seattle will close down the cop-free zone. Joe Biden agrees to three presidential debates. Florida may require face masks for President Trump's convention speech. A new survey reveals the most patriotic state in the union. Also ahead, will you kneel over your country? But first, new stats show major felonies jumping double digits in New York City, Minneapolis, Chicago, Portland, Seattle, and Los Angeles. New York confirming a whopping 358% rise in shootings compared to the same period last year. Defund the police? There you go. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea, partially responsible for this ultra-dangerous situation in the Big Apple. Seattle shutting down the Capitol Hill organized protests, better known as CHOP, after two deadly shootings. Far-left Mayor Jenny Durkin saying the gun violence is, quote, distracting from the group's original message, which, of course, is anarchy. Ms. Durkin is incompetent. And the governor of Washington State, Inslee, grossly irresponsible. Joe Biden's campaign confirming the former VP will debate Donald Trump three times before the election in November. The schedule includes televised events on September 29th, October 15th, and October 22nd. The vice presidential candidates will face off October 7th. Florida Senator Rick Scott suggesting face masks and other social distancing guidelines may be mandatory if Mr. Trump delivers his nomination address from the Sunshine State. The Trump campaign considering Jacksonville after officials in North Carolina set strict restrictions on the audience for the Republican National Convention, which was supposed to be held there in August. Recent poll from WalletHub ranking New Hampshire as the most patriotic place in America. Wyoming, Idaho, Alaska, and Maryland round out the top five. Least proud state in the union, New Jersey. Residents there have the lowest reported stats for volunteering and veterans per population. In a moment, will you kneel? Right back. You know me as a news guy, but today I'm a science guy. I've accumulated my share of aches and pains over the years, which started my quest for a natural solution. I found it in Omega XL. The stuff works, and it has 30 years of research to prove it. Omega XL is a powerful natural anti-inflammatory supplement that helps relieve joint and muscle pain. There's nothing like it. Omega XL has health benefits way beyond joint comfort. Here's another reason I take Omega XL. Research shows that it can rebalance inflammation in the body and promote a healthy immune system, vitally important. So, please do two things today for yourself. Stay close to your loved ones and order Omega XL, the supplement that can deliver pain relief while improving your overall health. Order now and get a second bottle absolutely free of charge. Please go to OmegaXL.com slash bill. That's Omega, the letters XL, dot com slash bill. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day, the radical left on the march. It is almost beyond belief that America is being trashed the way it is. I mean, here we have a country that provides more opportunity to more people than any other nation the planet has ever seen. And millions of its own citizens apparently want to destroy the traditions making that possible. Never mind that tens of millions of folks all over the world are trying to become American citizens. Forget the absolute fact that the USA freed billions of people enslaved by fascism, communism, and Islamic fundamentalism. Totally ignore our Constitution and economic strength based on hard work as well as ingenuity. Throw out 
our willingness to spend trillions of taxpayer dollars to support the poor, not only here, but abroad. Yes, reject those facts and kneel in contrition to a false view of America, one that is championed mostly by radical leftists who see the USA as an evil institution built on the backs of slaves and the poor, exploiting minority people. Kneel and allow criminals to go unpunished, police to be demonized, babies to be aborted for any reason, private property to be destroyed, and your fellow citizens harmed if they dare challenge the liberal orthodoxy. Kneel, cower before the Twitter mob that rejects President Lincoln's statement and malice towards none. Hope the brutish mob passes you by. Virtue signaling, now a pandemic. Insanity and psychic violence on gross display in prime time. The corporate media loves it, profits from it, embraces the potential destruction and enlightened change the mob demands. Never again should American voters be allowed to elect a person like Trump. Today, if you support him and the Republican Party, you're not only deplorable, you're a racist. You are not worthy of any consideration or even a job in some cases. You are threatened and shunned by the media. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Christopher Columbus, all were terrible men. Their statues and accomplishments must be destroyed. It is virtuous to highlight their sins. It is noble to spread the big lie. America was founded on white supremacy, and the country still runs on that. And if you disagree, you're a racist. So kneel while the woke mob burns our history, ignoring this reality. No person, no nation is devoid of sin but it is the totality of a life that must be honestly evaluated as well as the totality of a nation. The mob will never acknowledge that truism. The mob has no specific solution to any problem. It only wants revenge for past injustice so it can rule in the present. And politicians, corporate chieftains, celebrities, professors, journalists, and even clerics Fear the mob, so kneel or else. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. In a moment, something you might not know. When you venture outside, face coverings may be required, and the kind of face cover you use matters a lot. The Boomer Naturals Protective Face Cover is a recommended covering for both adults and children. With three cloth layers infused with nano-silver technology, It reduces particles getting to your nose and mouth. The Boomer Naturals face covering is comfortable, easy to breathe, easy to speak, and made for excellent protection. They are in stock right now and will ship to you from the Boomer U.S. warehouse. The face covers can be used up to 30 days when you hand wash with soap and water, making them very affordable. Order yours today at BoomerNaturals.com. And if you use the code BILL20 at checkout, you'll save 20%. Please go to BoomerNaturals.com, your source for excellent face covers. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Just six years ago, one of the most famous paintings on the planet hit the auction block, Claude Monet's Water Lilies. An anonymous investor bought the portrait for... $54 million. Not bad for a series of paintings deemed illegal by French authorities. During the late 1800s, Monet actually planted the lilies himself so he could paint them. But the city council ordered the artist to remove the flowers, saying the foreign specimens from Egypt and South America could poison the local water supply. Well, not only did a French Impressionist refuse to remove the lilies, he hired a team of landscapers to divert a major river onto his property. Ten years later, Monet had 25 canvases featuring lilies. 
If $54 million sounds like a lot, it's not in the world of art. Here are some of the most expensive works ever sold. Number five, Jackson Pollock's abstract painting entitled 17A. Private collectors shelled out $200 million for it back in 2015. Next, Mark Rothko's Violet Green and Red. It fetched $205 million in 2014. Pretty good for a painting consisting of just three colors. Number three, Paul Chazanne's The Card Players. The item was bought by the government of Qatar for $250 million. Second place goes to The Interchange by Willem de Kooning at $330 million. Bucks. You can see that one on display at the Art Institute of Chicago. And the number one spot goes to Leonardo da Vinci. His lost work, entitled Salvatore Mundi, was bought by a Saudi prince in 2017 for $470 million. And here's something else you might not know. While individual works do fetch big bucks at auction houses, the most successful painter of all time is Pablo Picasso. His catalog of 363 pieces of art have sold for $34 billion. Back after this. As you may know, more than 44 million Americans have lost their jobs. The Fed just warned the recession may get worse. So I recommend you consider gold and silver. And the only company I recommend is American Hartford Gold Group. I trust them. I've done business with them. I recommend them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA. And they make it easy. So please call them right now. And make sure you tell them that Bill sent you. And they will give you, ready, $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold Group, gold is up more than 30%. So don't wait. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs> 